The beauty is that I live to tell the story and now I don't hate myself. I've developed some love for myself. Ahead of Mary J. Blige's documentary, My Life, premiering exclusively on Amazon Prime Video Friday, June 25th, Billboard caught up with the queen of hip hop soul to talk about the new film, which gives fans an intimate look into the recording process of her 1994 confessional album of the same name. There's a time that I didn't want to live. I, I hated myself. I didn't think anything of myself. Heralded as one of her best, the 17 track My Life speaks to the worst times of Blige's life, with the star bearing her soul on the project about her depression, struggles with drugs and alcohol, and abusive relationships, with songs like I'm Going Down. I'm going down. Although Blige says that pain is now translated into joy, she revealed she didn't truly find herself until after her seventh studio album, 2005's The Breakthrough, as well as the end of her 12-year marriage to Kendu Isaacs. It was probably 2016 after the divorce that I really started to understand that, you know what, I'm, I'm beautiful, I'm strong, I'm somebody, you know, I am the truth, you know? Apart from herself, Blige credits late Uptown Records founder Andre Harrell as being instrumental in helping her come into her own. Like he was really my father in the music business and he protected me and gave me ideas and inspired me consistently. Harrell, who passed away on May 7th of 2020, is even featured in interviews for the doc, which Blige, an executive producer, dedicated to him in a letter signed, Your Daughter, before the credits roll. It was a lot to watch him you know, but at the same time, it was like, wow, Andre, thank you. I was happy to have him in my life. For way more on what to expect from Mary J. Blige's My Life, head to Billboard.com. For Billboard News, I'm Jordan Rowling.